Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about one more wonderful, fascinating, useful web mapping application. This one's called the Landsat Lens. So obviously it's using Landsat satellite imagery. When the Landsat Lens opens, you get this development off of the coast of the UAE. That's not all. You could pan anywhere in the world and get that image for that specific date for other areas of the world. Also, you can use this Windows Pick. So let's say I wanted to look at what it looks like in 2002. Well, look, I've got both of those on there now, and I can see that in 2002, that was not even developed. And I can also explore what else was developed or not developed back in 2002. You can see the, the changes over the years. And you can have these, these squares up with different dates. Not only that, but you can change the theme. So since it's Landsat imagery, we've got the choice of different bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. So we can look at, for example, the vegetation and see how the vegetation has changed over time in this area of the world as vegetation was planted. In addition, you can use this on a variety of touch sensitive tablet devices, for example, like an iPad or a Chromebook. So you can manipulate these images in other ways. One of which, and I've even got a laptop with me right here, I can with the mouse scroll wheel, I can even enlarge these image tiles so that I can actually examine, for example, changes in central Saudi Arabia looking at the center pivot irrigation over time. Fascinating, and I've got the vegetation index on right there. Again, lots of functionality with this tool. Not only that, but you also have, for example, here, bookmarks that are already pre-programmed into the system. It runs in a web browser, and so these are like spatial bookmarks, if you will. So I can pick on different things here. For example, I've looked at, now I'm looking at the Yellow River Delta in China and looking at the development there. Same kind of thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to look at different years and now I'm going to be able to see development and how the agricultural fields predominated back in 2002 and how they're rapidly disappearing. So that is the Landsat Lens web mapping application that uses satellite imagery for around the planet. One more thing if I may. You can change scales so that you can really get into the crater of Mount St. Helens and see how the central lava dome has developed over the last few years. So again, global, by year, different spectral bands, and it's called Landsat Lens because these squares are like lenses seeing through time across space. There is, as you can see here, a nice tutorial for how to use this, but it's very easy and intuitive. Also, there's a link to the wonderful people and developments over at the ESRI Applications Prototype Lab, where this was born, where the Landsat Lens was born. Also, there's a blog about it on my colleague's website. I just invite you to take a look at this. Landsat Lens. Fascinating, intuitive, rich set of data, great for teaching and research about our changing planet. Thanks.